And don't worry, this thing isn't going to kill you. You can actually push him off the edge. And Aha! Pretend, and pretend you killed him. Well, no. He activates a switch, which allows you to progress. If you kill him, you're screwed. <laughs> now, be careful with some of these pots in the room. Once again, they're in, in, uh, in, enchanted. That's the word. And... <laughs> And possessed. Or possessed, and they're gonna like home in on you if you go too close to them. So have your shield ready. Used in fire in the middle of the room here, like the two torches. Hopefully, I'm standing in the right place. Yes, I am. <laughs> standing on the chest. You even tried that in Twilight Princess. Yeah, I did it in Twilight Princess as well. In fact, I bumped into a that flying glitch. Remember when I beat Kid Boblin before? Um, what's um, up to his grounds? I did like a new. I did like a helm splitter, and then during the cutscene, I floated down to the ground. <laughs> that was fun. And we got the dungeon map, which is quite helpful because this place isn't that big, but it's still pretty confusing. I'd say the Shadow Temple is more bigger, but yeah, you only do half this dungeon as a kid and half this. You uh, look quite dazed. Yeah, <laughs> half. You do half this dungeon as a kid and half this dungeon as an adult, and I'm probably going to be able to finish this uh, with a kid half pretty quick. But at the same time, I'm kind of going against it for some reasons, and I can't open that right now. I just remembered. So I might... Hmm, I don't know. I'll do the next room and then I'll end it off. Because at least then I won't have to do the puzzle in the next room again. I believe so, anyway. And even then, if I have to, I can just I can just start right after the thing anyway, so it's like nothing ever happened. <laughs> the wonders of... Um... Cutting and everything. <laughs> so yeah, you got a lot of rupees here once again, but you've also got BMOs, so this time we want our bombs. See how item heavy you have to be in this dungeon? It's ridiculous. Boom! Did he drop a bomb? Did he? No, he didn't. Cheapskate. Aha! Get out bomb. Boom! Luckily, these ones don't take two bombs because that'd be even more annoying. Thank you for the bombs. Thank you, my good man. If you haven't already um, seen my first few episodes of Scout Sword, you'll probably think, um... Why is she so slow on uploading? Well, no, not Why are all my mates so slow on uploading? I don't know. I just, I just did it. That was kind of slow. But the thing is, it's not because of that. It's, um, if you have seen the like, few, first few episodes, you'll probably think, um, oh, there's, there's groovy language on there. What, what does it say? Well, I've actually tried to translate it, and it's just different parts of the alphabet. Yeah, just, just mixed we already know she can translate Hylia, and now she can translate bloody Gerudo. Well, I can translate a few things, but all because of Sarah and Illy. I'm DeviantArt. I'm not going to put a link to that, because I don't really have any idea who she is. <laughs> she but hey, she's, hey, she's a Zelda fan. If you're a Zelda fan, you might want to check her out. So she's an just extreme type it up Zelda in fan. Art. There you go. She's an extreme Zelda fan. She literally makes all sorts of things on DeviantArt. But the thing is, she has got a YouTube channel, but she's only got one video. And that was like... Eight months ago. That's pretty long. I think my mate Will Fonz's video is kind of, um, I think it was about, I don't know how long ago actually now, about four months ago? He doesn't upload as much anymore, I know why, but oh, yeah. hey, I've mentioned him quite a lot because he's made the theme tunes for, well, the, the, the main channel themes for my channel, so I've got to thank him for that. I wanted to make me one. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know what program he uses to be honest, I keep forgetting to ask him. We're just talking about other people's channels right now. Let's get back to the game here. Right now, what I'm trying to do is pull this block with the sun switch into the light. Because that all... I think this one opens the door. And if you like all torches... I can't remember what it does. Uh, does this open the door? Yeah, that opens the door. I believe lighting all the torches makes a chest appear. So let's go get another deco stick ready. Don't know why I take off my bombs. Because I was targeting a bloody bee moves. Ow. Don't worry. Doesn't matter really, that BMOS is not going to bother me. There's about four uh, torches in here, I always seem to forget one of them, let's just hope that this time isn't that case. It's going to burn in a minute. No it isn't, I'm fine, I'm cool. It's all good. Bloody hell, that thing won't leave me alone, will he? There's three torches in there. He still got me when I was protecting myself, what the hell? <laughs> he must have got my head. He got a headshot. Don't leave me alone. Mug. He's looking away now so I can actually climb up. At least you can kill him in this game. In Link to the Past, you can't do shit. 
They see you, they go pew, and then you take massive damage and send flying across the room. It's ridiculous. Oh, I don't like Elite 2 Plus. It's not my favourite game. I, I think it's the best 2D Zelda game, though, in my opinion. Oh, yeah, and we want the, um, Lens of Truth here, and the Boomerang, because I believe there's. Oh, no, I'm thinking of a different area in this dungeon. Never mind. But there is a Gold Skull Tiller in this room, and it's right behind us. And we're on that bombshell. In the next episode, we will see what's beyond the next door. We're coming up to the end, if I can grab this and show the map. Of the child portion, anyway. And I think we will leave the conclusion for the child part in the next episode. Because we're reaching a dead end. See you guys, then. Okay, you may be wondering why I am... Well, why this episode was split into two. Well, it's because that I kind of misjudged it a little and we were in a bit of a rush at that point anyway when we were recording it we needed to get it done quickly and this is this part of the video is actually being recorded about two days later so sadly Georgina is not with us for the rest of this episode and therefore she can't see the reactions of what would happen at live against this uh, mini boss that we're coming up against yes a mini boss I think I've already said that but so yeah this is another time I'm playing the game so all these pots have respawned I've got my hearts so I try to keep my equipment as um, consistent as possible but sadly I had to use another bomb to just get back up here because the rock somehow rebuilt itself but whatever now for this boss I'm gonna actually for this mini boss even I'm gonna use Nara's love because even though it it makes you invincible and I don't really need to use it I want to use it because this will probably be the only time I'm, actually, I'm ever gonna show it and I might as well use it for a good cause now just saying shields are useless against this thing make sure you have a lot of health because you're not going to come back alive. Unless you succeed, of course. Take note of these pillars. They're very helpful. Because here is one of the most dreaded enemies in... Well, The Legend of Zelda. Ocarina of Time. Or perhaps in the entire series. Meet the Iron Knuckle. Watch out for its axe attack. It hurts a lot. Strike it when it drops its guard. Even if you use your shield, he'll smack right through it. But... If you use Nairu's love, which you get right before this dungeon, hardly enough, it'll make you invincible, but you will still get sent flying if you get hit. It's that powerful. And for you, for those of you who are playing the Ocarina of Time 3DS Master Quest, he can take about seven hearts off of you. But at least when we're using this shield, we can at least uh, duck against his attacks. Deco sticks are obviously the way to go, so we can really use that. Come on, glitch. Come on. Glitch. Did it work? No, I got another stick out. I am really, really trying to get this stick glitch to work. It is just not working, is it? I give up with it, to be honest. I'll show you in a bonus video, because it's not going to happen on camera, apparently. As you saw, I got hit and I was flying, but, you know, it doesn't really affect me. There is another way to take these things out that's a lot more safer, and that's to chuck bombs, but I'm not going to use that tactic until we do the Uber challenge, because, you know, it's a free heart run, and I don't want any deaths. And he's done. Simple as. And I can target him before he goes away completely. There's actually another little easter egg that comes up with these iron knuckles, but sadly, because I'm not using a debug uh, of any kind, and I'm not that kind of a hacker, I can't actually show it off. But the easter egg with iron knuckles is that if you can see through their helmets, they actually have Gerudo faces. They're Gerudo soldiers of high calibre. But once you beat it, go through this doorway. You're not in the dungeon anymore. In fact, you're actually higher up on the outside of the dungeon. And guess who has to see us for one final time? Hey, what's up, Scatlink? Surprised to see me? I can't remember the voice I gave this dude, so I'll just improvise. A long time in this world is almost nothing to you, is it? How mysterious. Even though I thought that tales of a boy who could travel back and forth through time was merely a legend. Scatlink, you have fully matured as an adult. From now on, the future of all the people in Hyrule is on your shoulders. Maybe it's not my time anymore. Here is my last advice. Thank God. <clears throat> Two witches inhabit this temple. In order to destroy them, turn their own magic power against them. Hoo <laughs> hoo! Do you want to hear what I said again? No thank you. I will continue to watch you. <laughs> and funnily enough, his last piece of advice is actually very helpful. He's just given us the way to beat the temple boss. Yep, 
He's actually told us the weakness of this temple's boss. But we still need a way on reflecting magic. We can't exactly do that, can we? So that'll have to wait till later. Hopefully we'll get it before we get to the boss. But regardless, we found the silver gauntlets. If you wore them, you would feel power in your arms. The power to lift big things with A. But these gauntlets won't fit a kid, so you're still stuck with the Gorn bracelet. But you, prom you promised to give them to Nibiru. You should tell. You should keep your word. But before we can even do that, sandstorm brewing. That did not sound good. Hey, where are you taking me? I'm gonna have to improvise on this one. Yeah, let me go. Trying to mimic Georgina's voice from the Buru, it's not working very well because... You fiends, Gandalf's minions! That's actually kind of ironic. We'll find that out later. Skedlink, get out of here, now! These witches, they're using black magic on me! Those two were the temple boss. And Nibiru was captured. We're going to have to save her. And to do that, we're going to have to go back to the future. <laughs> but beforehand, notice that there is a heart container right on top of that stone. That is our final heart container of the game. But we can't grab it. Remember that we planted a bean down here? Well, that's actually... What we need to use. So, time to come back into an adult once again. And this will probably be the last time we're a, we're a kid. So, if you've got anything else to do as a kid, you can do it now as you're already as a kid. But, and obviously, you do have the opportunity to go back and forth between time whenever you want. But for the sake of this let's play and you're following through and you've actually skipped a couple of things if you have anything left to do as a kid do so now so you don't have the hassle on coming back here to get the sword for now time for one more well actually you know what screw back to the future i'm not using that that tune again because i'm going to just do it normally the master sword theme for the final time so basically i'm doing two of each And we're back at the Desert Colossus. Time to continue this dungeon. And it just went morning. Great. But hey, we can try out these uh, silver gauntlets. So before we go back into the dungeon, I think we should do a few more things to uh, finish off the outside of Desert Colossus. And yep, there's no um, grottos underneath both these rocks. In fact, I believe there's one right under this rock. We can actually pick the... Freaking lever! Leave me alone! It actually made me ruin the pickup and it just I just dropped it. But hey, it's just another store. It doesn't interest us in the slightest. Haha! -ha, and the rock somehow reappears. So, first thing, before we even attempt to even get that heart piece, I want to go back to the spring, because it wasn't nighttime when we were there, but it was it did become nighttime when we reached the temple. And if we go back to the spring, there is a gold skull teller I can now get. Why could it not have been nighttime when I was there before? I don't know. It was just timing, I guess. And time wasn't on my side this time. <laughs> Did it? Because we actually have control of time to a moderate degree. <laughs> so, sun song. Make it night. Come on, hurry up. And hopefully it will stay nighttime when we're getting the harpies as well, because we're going to get the rest of the gold school tellers around here. As long as the levers stop punching me in the face. There he is. Navi, get out of the way. Thank you. I actually got it from behind. As well as the token. Wow, I kind of bugged that one out a little. Because the token's hitboxes are a bit bigger, as we've already proven. <laughs> Prove it, we destroy it. I like how I say that. And that wasn't really funny. I don't know why I found that funny, to be honest. Whatever. Let's get back to the temple where the magic bean is. Paradoxes left, right, and center. I'm getting punched by these things, and I'm not enjoying it. Who would? They're a lot more annoying in this game than what they are in others. 
Actually, I think they were just as annoying in the first Zelda game. I don't think we've got to be on the top of this rock. Because I'm... I think it's the other rock. Yeah, it's this rock. Get on top of this one. Wow, I actually walked right off the bee and I was trying to jump. There's a gold skull tiller right on top of here. I'm just trying to kill it. Way, 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 way. Go away. <laughs> Go away. I don't know. I'm trying to make a pun out of that. I think I made multiple ones. Whatever. I'm just being derpy today. I think I'm just a little bit tired and I'm going a bit stupid with a motor mouth trying to make funny puns and everything. It's not a good day for me. And if my voice sounds a little bit off, it's because I've had half a chocolate egg today because obviously this is after Easter, so you know, clogginess with the fruit. But it hasn't made me cough during the, well, during any points in the video where I am actually leaving footage in. I've been trying to cough when I'm cutting, so you don't get to hear me die. It doesn't matter if it becomes morning, there's no big deal. Stay facing forward because it's going to loop around like a weird thing. Jump at it! There we go! And final heart piece, gimme! We've got all the heart pieces in the game. Give yourself a pat on the back. Because some of them are a nuisance, as we've already learned. And now, with the morning sunrise behind our backs, we enter the temple once again. And we're going to get rid of the first three areas of this temple done because we're now seven years late on saving Nibiru. But this is the only way to progress, so let's do it. First of all, this block, we can now push. Push it real good. I was thinking of making a Hercules reference or a push it real good reference, but I think I'll use that one. It takes a little bit of a while. It's literally one whole block forward, so it takes a bit of a while. There we go! Blocks up a pit. And there's another Beemos there. Thank God I had my bombs equipped for it. And that did not hit it. And that's larger than usual, as you can tell. So, got to chuck two bombs at it if it will actually hit it. Why won't it hit it? It's just bouncing off the side of it. Okay, paralyzed. And blown up. There we go. Boom. And you have to kill that thing, because otherwise you won't be able to get... You'll probably get hurt when you do this. There we go. Opens both those doors. And of course it shows us the left one, and just like the kid, we want to go into the left one first. Now, I don't know why this is here, because funnily enough, you would think the Stalfos would be here as an adult to match your power level. Because you would think that the mini the, well, the, the enemy in this room would match Young Link. It's a freaking Wolfos. And I just rolled into it like an idiot. Of course I get hit by this thing and not the Stalfos. Jump attack, you're dead. Get out your Ocarina while we're standing on the Triforce. I wasn't just standing on it. There we go. Play with Zelda's lullaby. This is one of the puzzles that I told you the Ocarina's for. Hey, Ocarina. I don't know. I've already used that pun already when we first got the bloody thing. And a massive chest appears. Ooh, what goodies could be in there? Speed open. Oh bloody hell, I forgot to ch show something outside that there's a Colossus or anywhere that has sand in it. Um, maybe I can show it off here, but I don't know if it happens here. If you kill enough levers, enough green levers, oh they're not appearing. I swear they appear down here. Maybe I'm thinking of Master Quest again. Ugh, keep doing that. But hey, it hasn't stopped me from progressing. Because if you kill enough normal levers, and he's back, if you kill enough purple, if you keep, if there, if I can just get my sentence out, I'm not going to do anything. If you kill enough green levers, a purple big lever will appear. It's It's got better AI than the others. They don't home in on you, but they do have, do like a swerving pattern. How did I not reach that? Are you serious? Don't worry, I've got another plan on getting this thing. So let me stand over here. Get my... Excuse me! Boulder. You can actually hookshot these climbable walls, so if you can't reach this thing, because you actually do need a hover boots to grab this thing, or a very skilled jump attack, just do that and you bash through. You, you literally punch your way through the boulders, knocking them out of the way. It's pretty awesome, as you just saw right there. <laughs> I'm punching through balls of rock. I guess you could say I was going for rock. I don't know. It's like Pokemon, I can't really use that one. Song of Time. Nope, oh, that's the wrong button. But yeah, another one of the Ocarina puzzles. Told you that this dungeon's quite heavy on using the Ocarina, and you do use it a lot more as an adult. Funnily enough. <coughs> Excuse me, it's a trouble to dig in. It's got to be done, you know. Whoa. Kill that thing. Gold Skull Tiller. 
So now we've only got one more gold skull talent in this dungeon to get. And notice where that oh, that oh, that song of time block's gone. It's actually blocked up another alcove, so we've got to play the bloody song again. That's weird. I swear one of my button presses didn't read. Whatever. Move out of my way, block, with the power of music. Still, I think this is a crap way of using the Song of Time. I think uh, Majora's Mask did a much more better job on how the Song of Time was used. Turning back time, it kind of makes sense with the Song of Time, you know. Not moving blocks. It should be like the block song. Don't move to that chest. Yes, yeah. I would like, like to ambush you. Like I said, green tunic. Actually, I think I might want to go for this dungeon with the green tunic. Because there are quite a lot of like likes in this dungeon. I mean, I prefer red, but I'll go as green because I don't want to be like, oh no, I got eaten by I like, like I must get my tunic back post haste. So let's avoid that. Gotta play smart here. I'm not playing casually. I'm doing a let's play. Speed is of the essence. Not as much as a speed run, but you know, we got a key. That's what we need. We can now progress. But I think we'll open the door to the lobby as an adult in the next episode. So in the next episode, guys, that's what we'll do. See you guys then.